with this new tool, you can remove backgrounds, replace them with AI and even resize them so they don't lose quality. Sounds too good to be true? Well, it's not. The tool I'm talking about is InsMine and I will be showcasing it in today's video. It is completely free. You can check out so many different things on it. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. So first things first, what you have to do is obviously go to the website. It will be linked down in the description below. You can check it out right over there. Keep in mind that the video is sponsored by them and I'll be showcasing different products and how you can remove the background from them and replace them using AI. So what we want to do over here is obviously upload a photo and try to remove the background from it. So I'll click upload a photo and I'll upload one random picture that I found from the internet. So now that I do that, it will do the loading. It will upload the photo itself. Once it is done, you can see how the photo looked like before. Give it a few seconds and it will do the cutout. So now you have the smart background removal. As you can see, it did a perfect job. It perfectly removed everything from the background and it just left this Amazon speaker. So now how do we change the backgrounds, how do we add the backgrounds? On the left side, you will see a lot of different things. You can even add outdoor, you can add like river, you can do whatever you want. It will automatically generate it and it will put it over here. So if I click here, this is a pro feature, as you can see over here. So this does require you to get a pro license, but you can get a lot of different things completely for free. And look how it put it on the floor or on the water and then it even made the water like bounce so it's insane if you want to add an ai background you will need to get the pro license but if you just want to remove the background itself like i showed you before you can just remove it completely for free there will be the watermark on the bottom right that's because you're obviously using the free version but like i said if you go to background just choose whatever background we want. If we don't want the background, we just go transparent. And if we download this image, it will be downloaded transparently. So you can either download the normal quality or the high quality, which does require you to use the pro version. Click on download. It will download the photo. And once it does that, you can open it up and then you can see that the photo itself is transparent and the quality is pretty good. What's also cool with the AI backgrounds is no matter which background you choose, you can see that the shadow of the product itself changes depending on where the light is coming from. So if you choose, for example, this one, you can see the light coming in from the side and then it does the shadow on the left. Here, it does the same thing. And on the other side, it does it on the right side. That's pretty cool. If you do want to choose your own background, you can actually do that by clicking on the background on the right side, click select a photo, and you can upload your own background and that way you don't have to have the pro version. For example, I've uploaded this random background that I found on the internet. You can resize it a little bit. You can, uh, you know, rotate it as well, flip it. You can change the opacity of it and then you can obviously adjust where the speaker stands or any of your product on the background itself. Uh, this photo is not really perfect for this background, but you get the point. You can upload your own background right over there. And then once you're done, you can just download that again. What I was talking about before, there's also a smart resize. So if you go on the right side, click on smart resize, you can actually resize it to even suggest the sizes that the website offers you like Facebook Marketplace, eBay or whatever else. Or you can choose your own custom size. That way it works perfect for portrait scenes and even horizontal scenes, depending what you need for your own products. You choose the size, for example, Facebook Marketplace, click on add. And once it does that, you can see how it changes the canvas itself. On the bottom, you can choose which canvas you want. And then once you get all the canvases, all the resizes, you click on download and it downloads them all at once. One more thing that this website features is the magic eraser. I'll be using this Will Smith meme as a reference and I'll be trying to remove certain things from the image. So how do we do that? We go on the image itself, we right click it, we can go to InsMine and then Magic Eraser. And now over here, if we, for example, don't want the character to be in the image itself, we just mark him right there, everything on the side, and then we choose the character or the subject, and then we click on start. So it removes whatever we marked from the image. That way, Magic Eraser deletes the thing and it leaves the quality of the photo normal. As you can see, we don't even know that somebody was here. If we remove the shadow, click on apply, you can't even see that anything was there. 
That way you can remove certain things if there's something in the background or something annoying on the photo. Just choose it, mark it up, Magic Eraser will do the job for you. And that's basically it. If you guys like this video, make sure to drop the like. It would mean the world to me. And if you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. If you want to see my other videos, make sure to check this one right over here. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out and have a good one. Bye bye.